As a gardener, I'm often asked, can gardening be done in the shade? The answer is yes, and perennials in particular love a bit of shade. Labels often show whether a plant prefers sun, semi-shade or shade. But what is the definition of shade? A shade-loving plant is a plant that receives less than three hours of sunlight a day, like under this tree. But even here you see that there is still a lot of growing and blooming going on. Semi-shade means about four hours of sunlight per day per plant. Now that you know what shade means and take it into account, you can be sure your plants will grow and bloom well. Lovely, isn't it? To have a good time by working in the garden. Now remember, many of those plants that do well in the shade are originally forest plants. Some of them are very well known, like this fern for instance, but also the lily of the valley. Many of those plants that grow in the forest bloom early in the year because there are no leaves on the trees and they have enough light to grow. And of course, there are shade-loving plants that bloom in the summer or a little more towards the end of the year. Well, I think I'm just going to plant a nice border in semi-shade. What's so nice about those shade plants, they're really hardy and can take some drought because they're used to growing under trees. Then they're beneath the leaves where there's less rain. See how easy it is to create a nice little border pretty quickly? Not only did I pay attention to the various flowering periods, but also to the colouring and texture of the leaves. How about this great forget-me-not with that little bit of silver in it? In fact, you can keep on combining to your heart's desire. But don't take my word for it, just go home and get going. If you have a garden with lots of shade, please don't go for tiles, because as you've just seen, in no time you can create a beautiful border with plants. Plus, we all know the consequences of climate change. We get more and more showers and they're heavier too. And then of course, tiles are no good. They won't drain the water and a soil with perennials really acts as a sponge. I hope I've given you some inspiration and if you want to know more, go to the Perennial Power website.